Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to the In Your Head podcast. I am your host, Jesse, and there is nobody with me on the couch right now, but the episode you're about to see was recorded live at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. This episode was recorded with the Lords of Adventure, a pair of great guys, and uh, I know I told you I was bringing you Swabby from the Dandy Pirates, but he was unfortunately incarcerated at the time. Uh, so, we have his brother and other brother, so we have the two great guys from the Lords of Adventure, so stay tuned, check out the episode, and enjoy. Well, we're not related to the what Dandy Pirates well. in the sense, except that our brother, our twin brother, Swabby, because we're twins, myself yeah, and Jack. Identical. Our mom was a fairy. And then Swabby is our other twin brother. We have a lot of twin brothers, actually. Yeah. And, uh, but he is actually one of the members of the Dandy Pirates. And he's in prison now. Yeah. Currently we got him arrested. It's what we do. Mm -hmm. We're good guys. What did he do this time? Piracy, usually. Yeah. All various types of piracy. He can't help it. There's also a lot of unpaid uh, parking tickets for the docks in Spain. <laughs> Docking fees. Docking he fees. never pays them. He, he never, never does. I tell him all the time. And then he hey, tries to go fees. back to those ports and feels like he's not going to have an issue. <laughs> and how long have you guys been adventuring? Oh, since the day we were born. Oh, my gosh. We had our first adventure. Should oh. we tell him? Yeah, yeah, we should. It was amazing. Right, so we were in this we were. place. It was warm. Yeah. It was, it was kind of lovely, actually. We were, we were nuzzled up. Yeah. And then, and then I saw the light. I saw the light. So I started crawling towards the and light. I go knew my brother light, was going light. for something, so like, I wanted to go too. Then something I liked grabbed first. me. That was me. I grabbed him. Yeah. It was amazing. So I put my foot on his head and I pushed, pushed, pushed hard. Uh. And then it was cold and bright. And there was a fellow in his white robe. I gave up at that point, me. by the way, because if I didn't want to be first, I yeah. couldn't do it. So then what happened? I'm sorry. Yeah, he smacked me. This guy in a white robe, right? Smack. And I went, Wah. And I heard my brother crying, right? So I came out because I wasn't going to let that happen to anybody but my brother. I came out. He's first. Breach. Kick the guy. And then I, he slapped me, yeah. and I cried, and I peed on him. Yeah, yeah, we totally did. That was our first adventure. Yeah. It was good times. It was. It's been, it's been, it's been like downhill ever since. Yeah. But it's picking up speed. Yeah. Starting at day one, you got to keep the ball rolling, as you keep said the earlier. Ball, keep the ball rolling. I, I heard That's that part earlier. of our adventure code. That is part of the code. That's right. So, so, <laughs> so when did the code come into place? Well, the code, the adventures code. My brother and I, yeah. we actually wrote a book. We're published. Uh, it's our adventurous handbook. adventurous handbook, and we try to compile all the things that we have found work for us philosophically, spiritually, and such for yeah. our life of adventure. Like live with passion. Oh yeah, live with passion. Yeah, because some you people act, live like willy nilly, and that's like they get a willy nilly life. You act know what with mean? confidence. Yeah. Love deeply and without regret. Without regret. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, if I can ask you each, then what is each of your greatest adventures? My greatest adventure is every time I get to stand in front of my brother swinging a sword at me because he's my twin brother and I love him. Yeah. My, not my, in a weird way because we're brothers. Yeah, yeah. It's not only weird because we're brothers. We don't judge. Yeah. It's not because we're boys. We're half fairy, but it's the top half. Right. Yeah. Just the top half. Yeah, just top half. Right. <laughs> yeah. We don't judge because our mom's a fairy. But uh, my greatest adventure um, would probably be our second day of life when I realized that this wiggling thing next to me was my brother. So I hugged him real tight. I didn't breathe for a while. Yeah, I went yeah. blue. Yeah, they had to get a, a, a nurse to come in and get we him have, breathing again. We have great adventures every year at Crossford. Yeah. We're actually at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair right now. Right now. Because that, yeah. that's important because that's how you're going to put your kids through college. Yeah, I got kids. <laughs> New Jersey Renaissance Fair, Crossford, that's where we was born. Yeah. Crossford, England. On a rock. It's a fairy rock right fairy out rock. O, o, over the hill. Mm -hmm. And you guys show up here every year. Every year we yeah. do our Lords of Adventure show. It's a token two-man comedy sword fighting show that you would see at an outdoor festival show show. show. And we teach people how to be adventurers in their daily lives. Every and there's day. all kinds of things. You can get a turkey leg here, big pickle. There's yeah. jousting. If you've never had a pickle on a stick, you're missing out. So You are missing out. It's great. Everything on a stick tastes better. It's, it's true. It's, a lot it's of true. Electrolytes. Meat on a stick, vegetables on a stick. It's delicious. Handy, too. Handy. You, and you have a stick. That's why I love corn on the cob. You can, you can have it. It comes on its own stick. It's nature's, nature's perfect renaissance food. Oh, yeah. Ironically, not in Europe. In yeah. the 1500s. So Walter Raleigh brought it back. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and, and the turkey leg. We, people fail to realize what Sir Walter Raleigh did. He was amazing. I, I got to tell you, though, this whole English English obsession with the turkey leg is ruining the partridge industry. Oh, so true. So true. You can't compete with the turkey leg when you're a partridge. There's just not enough meat on your bones. Yeah. Small game birds have have definitely it's become the wayside. the wayside. Yeah. I hear there's a whole epidemic of one-legged turkeys hobbling around the woods of the New World, too, now. Do you know that's one of my fears, turkeys? Really, I yeah. don't blame you. There, I know like forty-seven thousand different languages. Most of them are from squirrels, but the turkey has the strangest language. Like, it's crazy. They're like a big old abomination bird. Yeah, you ever see them walking around. But boy, are they they're not friendly. They're not tasty, friendly. but not friendly. It's probably good. They're, they're not friendly. 
because then you don't mind, you know, cooking them. <laughs> did you know that the domestic turkey, you have to put it away during rainstorms because it will look up and start drinking until it drowns itself. Whoa. That's how stupid the domestic turkey is. That's I almost did, did that once. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was, Only we once? Had get, we have to get yeah. Jack inside when he starts raining, too, because he'll drink himself <laughs> to death in a rainstorm. We're That's not amazing. really sure we can die because we're being half fairy. Like, my brother's been trying to kill me for years. You look pretty blue at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, so what other uh, what other fairs have you guys uh, been recently to, or were or attending Ooh. in the near future? Well, we in the fall we do the Connecticut show, Connecticut, and Memphis. We go to Memphis, Memphis. in the fall also. Usually we work on our festival here because we're actually two of the owners of the New Jersey Renaissance. Yeah. Oh, okay. So from January till June, we are working very heavily on this show, and then uh, after the, after the summertime, because I work at the summer camp here. Yep. Then after the summertime, we do Connecticut and then Memphis. And then uh, we end our year in Louisiana. Louisiana. November and December. Uh. You guys have done a heck of a job putting this place together. For anybody who's never been to the New Jersey Renaissance Fair, you definitely have to get down here and check it out. Um, It's fantastic every year. Weather, rain or shine, we're That's out right. here. People having fun. One more weekend. NJRenfair.com. Boom. N-J-R-E-N-F-A-I-R-E.com. Please come. Yes. Make it out here. We so. got to make some money. <laughs> Make some money. Keep these guys coming around here for sure. And if my producer would kindly hand me my ink blot, please. Ink blot. There's some yes. There's something we do on every. Uh, did I take it out of there? It's it might be in the big bag. I'm sorry. Or, I'm kind of scared. Oh, What's the ink blot? So so on the podcast for you guys who haven't seen the podcast. Um. So for every show, I do an ink blot for ink blot. all of our guests. Yes, because this is the in your head podcast. So I try to get a little bit in their head, right. and I like to see what people see in. Certain ink blots. So I make an ink blot for each of my guests, and so, <clears throat> so for our, for the people watching at home, here is what these gentlemen are going to see. So <gasps> I know who that is. I know what it is. It's two partridges who are trying to kiss each other out of the out of the sadness they feel about the fact that the turkey has wrecked their whole industry. No, you actually, are wrong maybe it's again. joy. You're wrong again, Roger. It might be joy because they're oh, not wait. going to get eaten. <laughs> maybe actually, maybe this whole thing. Maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. This might be a beautiful thing for the partridges. <laughs> I, I think it. I think it looks like Sir Ulrich, because he's got a big head. Could be with Sir a big Ulrich. helmet on. I still see the partridge thing. <laughs> Sir Ulrich. Maybe they're yeah. just happy partridges because they realize that everybody's eating turkey now. My brother. And they're like, partridge. "Hello world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. We're not going to get eaten because we're a partridge family." Yeah. I just made that up right now. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was nice. Off the top of my That's head. why my brother's musical. We're improvisational yeah. specialists. <laughs> I get hit in the head a lot. So who was so, Sir Ulrich, if I may? Oh, oh, it's, it's one of my jousting buddies. You know, I used to joust for a while. He did. You my know, brother got hit in the head a lot. A lot of times. Not it just by awesome. me either. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> my brother got kicked in the head by a horse. Yeah, it was good times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And lived. That's why I think I'm, I might be immortal. But that's not the point. So Ulrich is one of, one of my dearest and oldest friends. And he used to hit me a lot. He, he hit me almost as much as my brother. Almost. Yeah. But I, I hit you more than anyone. Yeah, yeah. He's my brother, though. Is it better if we, if we, if we oh hold gosh! it upside down? That looks like or- a frowny face. So the, the upside down, it's a little, it's definitely a I little see, creepier. I see a, I see a red cap without his hat on, because the red caps have those ears. They go, can I see? Yeah, yeah. If you got the red caps, they actually have these downward, like in your typical elf or yeah, fairy, the yeah. ears tend to point up, but in a red cap or a goblin, then your ears go down. So what I see is you have like a red cap here who's lost his cap, and he's very Wait. sad because they love those caps. I don't know. I think it looks like our cousin Larry. It does look yeah, kind of like Larry. Because oh. he, he, he's, he's, he's an insect, you know. He, oh, and he's okay. Like, he's, he's like one of those praying mantises. And he eats all the bugs around the house. We're like, amazing. Larry, eat all the bugs. He looks like, look at praying mantises. <laughs> right? Hello, Larry. Hello, I'm going to eat some bugs. <laughs> it's good you guys have a a, a, a diverse family. It, yeah. it helps. I mean, we're about losing Jack Bold now, by yeah. the way. This is, what happened? It's going to go downhill from here. Nothing. What do you mean? I'm just saying. You haven't had a snack today, have you? I haven't had a snack. We should go get you some food. I'm getting low blood sugar. Oh, dear. Aren't we all? So, <laughs> but Try a chida. It's delicious. Oh, sorry. I, I, I saved as many donuts. Do you like donuts? Oh, yes. I love donuts. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. My brother I, loves donuts. Who doesn't like donuts? I don't care for them particularly. No. I don't, I don't do the carbs very often. Yeah. I feel then My I brother likes groggy. vegetables. I like savory. Savory. He's savory. Like chicken cacciatore. I like cake. <laughs> <laughs> On my chicken cacciatore. So, so for anybody who hasn't come out here yet, you guys are going to be here next week as well. We will be here next week. We do two shows a day. We do our Meeting of the Adventurers Guild, Guild and we do our love show. Love show. Valuable lessons of love and sword fighting. Yeah. All right. We're very well versed in love. 
we've had over 327 different relationships. My, my brother's had three of those. Yeah, that's true. I just feel very alone. Yeah. <laughs> But it, see, I, I did want to ask about Swabby because I knew his his relationship history He's was checkered. Up. Yeah, you, you probably want to talk about that. Yeah, we you, love we you, love Swabby. It said you could pick up an itchy thing just from talking about Swabby's relationship. It's true. Ooh. It's true. Yeah. He's careful. a sailor. He is. I may have to get an early shower tonight. That's then. true. Right. Anyway, what else you want to ask Swabby? <laughs> we know everything there is to know because we do. We actually but usually brothers. we're usually the ones who got to bring him in. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We when, know what he's thinking when he's like sober enough head. to get him. Get him in, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's better when he, after he's been drinking. He's, he's not as spry then, you know what That's I mean? That's right. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was personally wondering how long Swabby's been playing music. How long he's actually uh, been Swabby playing. Swabby has been playing music, ironically, the same amount of time as I have. Yeah. Uh, probably, I think the Dandy Pirates have been in business about 10 years, actually, I think. 10 yeah. years now. Wow. I think so. It started out, actually, at another festival we used to do. On the streets, they would just yeah. improv songs, and then they some of them were kind of good, so they just write them down, and then they started realizing people actually like this stuff that they were throwing out there. And that's big following. And that's when the CDs and that's right. Followed actually, shortly, the yeah. newest CD was actually made last year for the CD release party they did here at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair in the After Hours show. Oh wow, that's right. That was awesome. I'm the worst of the I'm Dandy the Pirates. biggest fan because I'm the brother. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Swabby I actually, hates Jack so much. It's yeah, amazing. he does. He hates me so much. It's awesome. He hates it because 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 I always cheer for him. I'm like Swabby, you're my best friend. I love you. <laughs> and he's like, get away from me. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hug you right now because <laughs> I'm all about love. <laughs> so how does he get any writing done with most of his time spent in the in jail? Oh, there's a lot of time to write oh, yeah. in prison. That's all. Yeah. You, what else you gonna do? <laughs> That's all he's got is time in there. Mm. You know, he writes it on the walls. The last uh, cell he was in had it scrawled whole <laughs> lyrics right on the walls. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite song of, of the Dandy Pirates? I have My to favorite ask song is The Ghost of Francis Drake. Because yes. Francis Drake was a true hero. He was a, he, We circumnavigated the globe with Francis Drake, actually. We did. It's good times. What's my favorite Dandy Pirates song? That's a nice song? one. They got a lot of songs that are a little inappropriate. Ethnomonogamy. Ethnomonogamy <laughs> is a good system, though. I've, I've tried that myself. Yeah. I, I was uh, <laughs> Ooh, beer goggles. That's my favorite. Oh. Jack loves that because that's very. Jack sees that as a very positive thing. Yeah, yeah. Like when you put your beer goggles on, everyone you feel deserves like the world love. Is positive. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, I've I've got to say I'm a huge fan of uh, Legend of Jer Jeremiah Crookshanks. That's a good song too. Actually, he was a real fellow. Yeah, we Jeremiah knew him. Crookshanks. Yeah, he was a he, he was, was the not a good guy. and he was a coward. But he was he did it in a great way. You know, yeah. he was just, I think he was more of like a pacifist than a coward though. Yeah. It's really how it came down to. He always avoided the fights whenever he could because I feel like he felt really bad hurting yeah. people, you know? He didn't really want to be a pirate. He just, we would like to count things. And Unlike needed, our brother. He yeah. wanted to be a pirate. He all it. he talked about. Since day one. All he Remember played he with his my kids. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> I guess to steal stuff from our room all the time. I oh, know. It sounds like he took on the job without knowing the risks of the job. Well, that's why they wrote that song, yeah. Sucks to be a Pirate. Because a lot of people think sailing and piracy is all just, you know, Johnny Depp in the Caribbean and all that. Mm -mm. It's not. It's a very dangerous mm -mm. life. Yeah. Our friend, uh, we had a friend named Joby. He was in Joby. Somalia. He was on his pirate ship and he got shot in the face yeah. by a naval SEAL sniper. Yeah, yeah those, they hit with the aim at. Those, those, <laughs> navy, those, those navy snipers, they hit with the aim at. I'm just saying. That's right. They bring, they, they, yeah. <laughs> Pirates well, are criminals too, by the way. I want to throw that out there too. No, they're, they're criminals, but some of them are still good people. You know who doesn't like pirates? Sailors. Anybody yeah. whose neighborhood they show up in. Yeah, they pretty much so know about it, really. You live in a port town, yeah. pirates show up, there's nobody who's like, oh, great, the pirates are here. Woo, we'll have a little party, drink some rum. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's not no. how it goes. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I've always lived inland, so I've never exactly. had too See, much experience. Yeah. understand the real story about Land piracy. lovers, they love pirates. I don't right. know why. I think i got to go to his show. Yes, guys. no, I... I okay. I want to thank you guys for being welcome, on, and thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for being here. Got, this is Roger and Jack That's me. from the Adventurers Guild. So if you guys <laughs> haven't been down to the New Jersey Ren Fair, check these guys out, and right. I'll have links and stuff to these guys. But I'm sure you have uh, websites uh, yeah, for Adventurers Guild. Renfair.com and LordsofAdventure.com. Yes, Lords yeah. of Adventure. Yes, That's Lords right. of Adventure. So make sure you guys get down here, check them out, check out the NJ Ren Fair, and as always, take care, guys. Thank you. <laughs>